How do you get more energy out of your chord progression without changing the chords? The answer, coming up. The first T. <laughs> Kate and Ray Harmony here. Welcome to the Hack Music Theory Revolution, where we empower you with notation-free theory for making great music. Today is day 15 of our Hack Music Theory Advent Calendar, where we're counting down the days to the release of our Christmas single and teaching you the music theory hacks we're using to write it. All right, so here is our chord progression. I'll just hit solo so you can check that out on its own. All right, super cool, but when you listen to it in the mix, where'd it go? So sometimes, maybe like in a verse or something, if you want your chords to just be sitting in the background, filling up that space, that's great. But this is our chorus, and we really wanted more from our chords. We wanted more energy to be injected into the chorus from the chords themselves. So here is a very cool hack for doing that. Copy and paste your chords onto another track with a different synth sound. So this is what we got now. Okay, so we got a little bit more percussive sound. Now what you do is get your grid set to 16th notes. And then you go through and you split every chord on every 16th note. Uh, all right, done. Next up, change your grid to 32nd notes. Select all the MIDI, and then shorten everything by a 32nd note. And we have that phrasing over here, um, which is why there's one missing there. So we're just gonna copy and paste that over so it's nice and consistent. And this is what it sounds like. All right, so because we've already got a lot going on in the track, especially with that three-part vocal counterpoint, which is creating all these cool rhythms, and not to mention this chorus is in 5-4 anyway. So we decided to keep these staccato chords, staccato just means detached chords. We decided to keep them really simple. So this is exactly what we did. However, if you're using this hack and in your song, you're using this in a place that doesn't have a whole bunch of other stuff going on, feel free to play around with the rhythm um, and do something more interesting. You know, for example, you could uh, play a few of them. Uh, you could do like three in a row like this. By the way, if your song is at a faster BPM, then you may want to use this hack with 16th mm -hmm. notes, not 32nd notes. All right, and this is what it sounds like in the mix. There's only six days left till the big reveal of our Christmas singles, so be sure to subscribe and hit to get notifications.